Samsung's latest foldable phone has been out for over six months now, and with the much-anticipated Galaxy S25 series likely arriving soon, Samsung fans can't help but wonder, what's next for the Galaxy Z Fold lineup? Will the Z Fold 7 live up to the hype, or is its reign over foldables coming to an end? Let's dive into everything we know so far about Samsung's next big foldable. Before we look ahead, let's briefly touch on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. While it was an impressive piece of tech, it didn't exactly set the world on fire. With little in the way of meaningful upgrades and a retail price that's hard to swallow, it became clear that Samsung was facing tough competition. OnePlus, Google, and even Honor are stepping up their game. But, if you're all about that Samsung software experience, the Z Fold 6 still shines in that department. So, when can we expect the Z Fold 7? If Samsung sticks to tradition, we're looking at a launch in July 2025, around the same time as last year's model. This gives Samsung some breathing room before the fall rush of new phone announcements, and of course, plenty of time for more leaks and rumors to surface. Now, let's talk design. We've seen the Galaxy Z Fold SE, which could give us a hint of what's to come. The Z Fold 7 is rumored to feature a larger 6.5-inch cover screen, up from 6.3 inches on the Z Fold 6, and an 8-inch main display. The device might also be thinner and lighter, but will Samsung sacrifice anything for those gains? One worry is that the S Pen support might be cut out, like in the Z Fold SE, but we're hoping for the best here. Performance is where things get really exciting. The Z Fold 7 will likely pack the latest Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset, delivering a 45% boost in performance compared to the previous gen chip. Expect up to 16GB of RAM and 1TB of storage on the highest-end models. The base model may still feature 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. This means incredible power for multitasking, gaming, and whatever else you throw at it. Here's a big one, camera upgrades. The Z Fold 7 might finally see a jump in camera quality, with a 200MP main camera, possibly borrowed from the Z Fold SE. We're also expecting the usual 12MP ultra-wide, 10MP telephoto with optical zoom, and a 10MP selfie camera on the cover screen. With these specs, the Z Fold 7 could finally compete with the best of the best in mobile photography. Battery life is always a hot topic, but here's the scoop. We're likely looking at the same 4,400 milliamp hours battery as the Z Fold 6. While we may not see any huge changes in battery size or charging speeds, we're sticking with 25W wired and 15W wireless charging. The improved power efficiency of the Snapdragon 8 Elite could help extend battery life slightly. But will it be enough for the larger screens? We'll find out soon. Of course, the Z Fold 7 will run on One UI 7, which brings new AI-powered features like writing assistance, auto summary, and smart call transcripts. Flex mode will also be back, turning the Z Fold 7 into a mini laptop for productivity, and Samsung DeX will let you turn it into a desktop experience with an external monitor. For anyone who loves the S Pen, we're likely going to see support for that as well. Now, the big question, how much will this all cost? Given that Samsung has been struggling with fold sales, it's unlikely that we'll see a massive price hike. But with the Snapdragon 8 Elite pushing up component costs, the Z Fold 7 could end up being more expensive. Expect it to start around the same $1,799 mark as the Z Fold 6. For now. So, should you wait for the Galaxy Z Fold 7? If you've been craving a wider, more traditional smartphone experience when the device is closed, this could be the perfect upgrade for you. But if you already own a Z Fold 5 or 6, or even the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, you might not get much more than a design refresh and some incremental improvements. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Techverse for all the latest leaks, rumors, and updates on the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and much more. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for the inside scoop on all things tech. Catch you in the next one.